Streaming services are to media what crypto and blockchain technology is to traditional finance. It's forcing old industries to either innovate or get left behind. Apple had their event yesterday, and I call it their JV event because it's not their signature event that they have in the fall where they release their new iPhones. But they did release some new products, the iPhone SE with 5G, a new iPad Air, and some really expensive uh, Mac Studios. It's more integration versus innovation, right? Apple's not gonna be able to do a product that's once in a lifetime every single time they have an event. But what they have done is integrated all these products into our lives, right? RIP is Steve Jobs. He only wore a, a black turtleneck, but what he has all of us wearing is all of the products he invented. I can't appreciate Apple giving more affordable and less like super sleek options to consumers at $400 to $500 much more affordable than a uh, typical brand new iPhone. The four to $500 iPhone is, is, I think is gonna be a big hit. I was looking at some of the highlights. They're releasing a 27 inch MacBook monitor, or not a MacBook monitor, just a, an Apple monitor that's supposed to be super sleek and everything, it's awesome. There's an iPhone chip in there. There's like an A13 chip in there, which was used for previous iPhones. So we're talking about like these chip shortages. Apple is like sitting on a stockpile of chips. They have so many chips that they're putting them in monitors. <laughs> like, I thought that was hilarious. Apple did something else. All right, they unveiled a partnership with the MLB. They're entering a live sports coverage arena partnership with Friday Night Baseball, um, and it's gonna be carried on Apple TV+. Plus. We've been waiting for streaming services to embrace the uh, embrace sports, and we saw it, we saw it with, um, with uh, Amazon signing up, doing the Thursday Night Football. Peacock is doing it with the Olympics. There's a lot of other streaming platforms that are doing it, except for one, which is Netflix. They're kind of like out there and haven't really committed to any live sports yet. That might be changing, but I mean, look, this is a, this is just a matter of time. And once this stuff starts happening and more and more sports start going to streaming platforms, maybe the regional sports networks are gonna start losing their using, lo losing subscribers. Streaming services are to media what crypto and blockchain technology is to traditional finance. It's forcing old industries to either innovate or get left behind. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of funny how streaming is just like the new cable, but without forced commercials. At this point, I think the price points must be nearly the same. So it's literally just UX and the ability to choose your own content adventure that's causing streaming sites to win right now. All the cable companies are innovating because some of them are, you know, the, the parent company of a lot of these streaming platforms we like. Like if you're talking about Peacock or all the different ones, some of them have innovated, but are they too late? Like Netflix already has over what, 200 million subscribers and the other platforms are trying to catch up. And so if you're, if you're someone like Apple TV, where you are, are first in on these sports rights and leaving the other people behind there trying to slowly innovate, then you might've actually just had a first mover advantage. I, I just don't see how companies like Comcast or other cable companies can compete if like Amazon comes in and was like, hey, I'll write you a blank check, NFL or NBA or whoever. I mean, there's, there's, there's a world here that we're seeing these uh, big tech companies just take over uh, live sports and just put it on the streaming platforms. Make sure you like and subscribe and be sure to hit that notification button. We'll see you tomorrow.